All right, our task for Thursday, Friday this week is to take meaning from uh, graphs and charts. There's a couple of different tasks here and I'm gonna go through both of them. Uh, before we go, our learning intention is to take meaning and information from the charts, to understand what the charts and infographs are telling us, and also to make sense of that information in the context that it's been given in. Um, so your first task is using the demographics infograph from um, the Australian Bureau of Statistics is to come up with at least three questions which are answered by the information in this chart. Now, it is an infograph, so you can see it's not just numbers, there's pictures and ways to help you understand it. But we want those questions to be inferential. So we don't want, to, we don't want you to have questions like, um, what, what is the Australian population increasing by? Because that's literal, it just sits there. We don't, I don't have to do any work to find that answer. I want to make the person who's going to answer these questions, I want to make them think a bit more. Um, you'll also notice here that it's got median, so luckily we, we did some work on that uh, on Monday and Tuesday, so hopefully that helps you to understand that. And something interesting to note is that the median age of people in Australia is 38, but if we scroll down to the median age of uh, Indigenous Australians and Torres Strait Islanders, you can see it's only 23, so it's a real tragedy. Um, it's something to, to kind of, to, just to, to bear in mind when you're working on this. So three questions, inferential, that uh, where the answer can be found in this infograph. The other task we're doing is quite different in terms of uh, the work you're gonna be doing. So here we've got four, no we've got, we've got eight different temperature charts from Australian capital cities. So you can see these are the maximum temperatures for the month and these are the minimum temperatures for the month. What you have to do is make connections between the eight capital cities and which ones you think, uh, which graph you think matches. Righto, so you can see there's a bit of a difference here, and that it's quite, quite uh, warm in January, so about 29 is the average, and then it goes right down to, uh, what's that, or less than zero. So I wonder which capital city that could be, perhaps one that's further south. Uh, and there's the, another explanation could be, um, this one stays pretty similar all year. Um, it even heats up, perhaps it's more tropical. So maybe that capital city is in the tropics. These are things for you to be thinking about when you're working on it, but good luck. And remember, if you've got any questions, uh, visit one of the afternoon meets um, with either of those two teachers and um, have your questions written down. We don't want you to sit there stressing about the work, just press pause on it and, and get into a meet and um, ask the questions there and the teacher will be able to help you out.